Welcome in today's morph tutorial where I want to show you how to make this type of animation. A very useful piece of knowledge, but you need to remember that this is available since wow. PowerPoint 2019 and Office 365. So we will need the newest versions to have the transition morph. I'm using pictures as an example, and I especially selected pictures, which are completely different dimensions for each picture. Let's get rid of the design ideas. And okay, we have completely different sizes and uh, versions of pictures. How do you change those pictures? One way would be to go to crop, aspect ratio, and making it square or any aspect ratio I want to achieve. Let's say I'm in a square, I would move around those pictures and I would hit crop to like make this automatically. And I would repeat this process for all pictures and then I would just resize them to the same amount. You can resize them to the same amount by just typing in here, for example, five and five. Uh, here we have, yeah, five and five. If you, however, why this picture got so big? If you, however, have the Windows version of PowerPoint, you have another option. You can click and drag over everything. You can go to picture format. You can go to picture layout and you can select a picture layout. The problem with this is that those are no longer pictures. Those are shapes now. This is just to save time. Right click, group, and group. Again, right click on the border, group, and group. And with a few mouse clicks, I have six equal pictures. I would delete the additional elements which PowerPoint created. Now I would just take the pictures and I would simply make them smaller. Perfect. Okay, let's say that the fish pictures should be like the front, like we made here. So I'll take the fish picture. I'm going to home, select a selection pane. And I want to make sure that picture number 19 or rectangle 19, I'll call it fishy. I'll place this as the first picture. All right. What I have to do now, nothing complicated. Select everything, go to picture format and use the align tools. With the align tools, I want to align center, align tools, align middle. So I don't have to align them by hand. I make them again a bit smaller. I'm holding my shift key to make this equal. And I want them to be in the middle of the slide. If you are not certain where the middle is, just go to view and open up guides. Those guides will show you the middle point and it will be much easier to snap to it. All right, this is the middle. Now I'm taking the slide here on the left side and I'm just pressing Ctrl D because this will be my layout. How do I want my layout? Well, I want all six pictures to be like thrown across the slide. I want to unfold to you what I'm having. Okay, at first, again, I'll select everything and I make it smaller with my shift key, of course, so it remains constant. All right, this should be fine. And I'm just taking from the first to the last picture. You can notice here, now I want rectangle 27. One, just make a very rough estimate of where they will be. One, two, three, four, five, and six. The most important thing is to align the first picture and the last picture. So make those kind of equal on the left side and on the, on the left bottom side and on the right top side. Why is that? Because we have, I'm sorry for, <laughs> I'm really sorry for the noise. Because PowerPoint will automatically align everything for us. Let me get rid of the guides. Let me again click and drag over everything and go back to the aligning tools. Picture format, align, and it's important to have selected align selected objects. This means that from all objects that we have selected, the object most on the left side and the object most on the right side will be the guidance point. What this means is if I hit distribute horizontally, watch what happens. PowerPoint automatically snaps everything into proper place. What we have to do, we have to also align them vertically. So once again, align, distribute vertically, or not align, distribute, and they are perfectly distributed from left to right without me doing any positioning. Right now, there is like not much I need to do more. I just take the previous slide and I duplicate it because I'm lazy and I select this slide, I press my shift key, I select this slide, maybe also this, I go to transitions and as said, if we have PowerPoint 2019 or the newer versions, 
Office 365 and any that comes after that, you will have the more function. With this more function, and this is a really great way of showcasing elements on your screen. Thank you for listening. If you are interested to learn PowerPoint with me, you have links to my courses down below. I promise there is less background noise on those courses. And this is a way to support my channel and to learn PowerPoint together. Thank you very much and see you in other tutorials or lectures.